What are your thoughts on heading into Pac-12, especially coming off the you know the strong showing you guys had at pre-naps? Yeah, both both men and women were were solid at pre-naps. Um, could have been um, could have been a little better, but but men got a, got out of there with a win, and the, and the women were second. So um, you know, I think I think we are getting better, which which is good. So um, as probably most of you know, this is the toughest conference in, in, in the country. So um, a lot of ranked teams, a lot of really good teams. Um, so it's it's going to be a battle out there. Um, but we feel like we're um, we're prepared, and um, you know, I think I think we'll have I think we'll have a strong showing. You mentioned that they could have done a little better. Can mm-hmm. you talk more about that? Well, I mean, I think. On the men's side, we were our spread two through five was 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 a bit um, was a bit much. So I think we want to we want to work on on getting our guys a little bit a little bit closer together. They did a good job racing together, um, but then the spread at the end was was um, was a little bit more than than I, than I would have liked. Um, uh, the women the women raced raced really well. I think it was Ali Cash's first race, and um, Reese has done a good job good job with the women. They they do a really good job of packing it up and, and keeping that spread um, pretty low. So, um, so yeah, I think I think just getting getting more race experience and, and getting more races in, I think I think that'll help a lot. Does that fall on on the back end, guys, to stay closer to the lead? Yeah, yeah, and and I think um, yeah, those are the guys that need to need need to step it up. And yeah, you know, I think that time of the year, even right now, we're still training really hard. So. Some people respond a little bit differently um, when, when you're training hard. Some some do a better job of, of running tired. Um, Matthew Mayton did a good job of, of running uh, running well when he was tired. I think that did a good job. So um, so yeah, I think I think getting some of those back guys to, to, to kind of close close that gap. And the other thing that would be nice is we can run ten um, at the Pac-12. So um, you know we didn't we didn't have Jake Langang out there. Um, we ran Newman, who was was one of our better cross country runners. We ran him in a, in a separate race to kind of give some of our freshman experience. So I think I think getting everyone together will will certainly will certainly help a lot. How about your uh, young freshman from Alaska that mm-hmm. made his debut? You know, that was a name that probably a lot of people aren't familiar with. What did yeah. you think of his performance? Oh, Levi was great. Yeah, he was he was certainly one of the one of the highlights um, uh, last week. We were really really happy with him. Um, Probably ran on the on the conservative side, started a little bit further further back, but did a did a really nice job finishing. Um, really really liked the way that, that he finished. So um, you know he's a strong uh, strong tough tough kid, and, and um, you know I think he's he's a guy that um, we're really happy to have have in our lineup. You talk about how tough this conference is. Is that is there any advantage to that? Does that steal you early as you? I mean you could finish. One, two, three in Pac 12s, and those could be all podium teams in, in Terre Haute. So, uh. Yeah, yeah, especially on the women's side. I think um, those top three teams um, are, are really good. Uh, Colorado's ranked number one in the country, Washington's ranked number two, um, and they could. Um, I think both of those teams will, will be podium teams at NCAAs. Um, the good thing for the women, I think, I think having the opportunity to race them and, and kind of see them, um, you know. Uh, Will help them come come nationals because I think you kind of you, you get a feel for for who the different runners out, are out there and how and how they race and um, you know I think we just want to keep getting closer and closer to them um, on the men's side yeah it's again I think Colorado is going to be really good they've they've won it um, a bunch of years in a row at the, the conference um, they won nationals two years ago and, and Stanford's obviously right right um, right with them as well so um, and then the Washington. Um, didn't have a great uh, meet at Wisconsin last week, but they they're 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 a solid team and, and UCLA Washington State yeah we have a we have a good definitely a good conference but um, but you know we'll be tested like when we get to the regional meet and the national meet we'll we'll have we'll have certainly run hard before before those meets and I think that's that's good it's good to it's good to run hard the the tricky thing is is just training through um, some of these meets and being a little bit tired so that so that we're ready come come nationals what's the what's the biggest difference with Matthew this year versus last year um he's been really consistent and and I think um me and him have have, we have a have a really good relationship we've gotten to know each other really well and um he takes a little bit differently than than some of the other runners um for him I I I realize sometimes 
the best thing I can do on, on an off day Saturday is let them go into the woods and go hunting or go wander around or you know get back get back into nature and just kind of knowing what makes him tick I think I think that's important because um, running certainly is important to him but there's a lot more to Matthew than, than just that and so just kind of knowing what what makes him tick but yeah he's been he's just been really consistent um and I think maybe it's just kind of us knowing each other a little bit better and knowing when to push him and when to to not push him um but you know when you're consistent you just get in better shape and then I think you just get more and more confident so um you know he just has to remember to keep keep doing the same things that he's done the last few races and um try to change things you know from from one race to the next when you say consistent you're talking about training eating, schoolwork, just sleep, everything? Everything, yeah, and I, and I think, um, but really, yeah, the training, just, just he hasn't missed any days this, this year, so he, you know, I'm sure there's days coming where, where something will come up and you just, um, that was me knocking on wood, too, that's went the door, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just, um, I mean, in, in our sport, when you have these three, you know, three, three seasons in a row, um, the biggest challenge that, that we have as, as coaches is just keeping them consistent and trying to keep them running as many consecutive days as possible and, and giving them the appropriate amount of time off in between the seasons. But um, in distance running, if you can stay healthy, if you can run day in and day out, like, and you can do that for a long period of time, that, that's that's when you really get um, the big the big reward, the big benefits. Um, but yeah, just really, really happy with, with, um, with how he's progressed. It seems to be like this prevailing opinion from the outside that, you know, hey, you have a great high school season, you put up all these records, you, you should be able to transition no problem to, mm-hmm. to college. You know, what's, why is that not true? And, you know, and, and what's the biggest challenge people have coming into college out of high school, especially when you're trying to compete at a high level? Yeah, and I think, I think when you have these stars um, like a Katie Rainsberger or Matthew Maton coming, coming in, um, you know, you're used to being out in front, you know, like watching Matthew run the state meet his senior year. And I'm sure Katie, the same thing. They were, they were out in front, you know, not being challenged. And now they need to learn to sit back. So it's a different style of racing. Um, and you can't, you can't lead all the time. So I think it's just getting used to that. Um, I mean, and then there's just living on your own and, and cooking and eating and, um, all that stuff you just got to kind of, kind of get used to. And, um, for Matthew, like I said, he's he's done a good job. His his freshman year um, in the fall, I mean, we laugh at it. There was just so many. There was a lot of days off. There was, you know, his Achilles got tight for for a little bit. Um, we were planning on him running the regionals last year, and he woke up and had the flu. And so, you know, he's throwing up and and you know on his warm up and stuff. So we ended up not running him. So it's just a lot of little things happened. Um, and um, yeah, it's just just the way it goes sometimes. But um, but yeah, he's found a way to kind of settle in and just been really, really consistent. Uh, not to jinx anybody, but you got a young man who's won three straight Pac-12 titles. Mm-hmm. No one's ever won four. Uh, what do you see from Ed this year and, and that sets him up for the next three races? Yeah, I mean his training, his training has been has been good. Um, I think you know it'll be interesting how he approaches the next the next three races because. Honestly, his 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 number one concern and, and goal is he just wants he would love to see the team the team do well and I think we've gotten a little bit better each year and now this being his final year it's it's um, you know he wants to end end on a good note um, and that's the interesting thing I think a lot of with a lot of the good individuals in the NCAA um, they're also all a part of good teams and so a lot of times in the past you had these great individuals that aren't on good teams and so. You know, it's like there's a team race and the individual race. So this year, um, when you look at uh, Justin Knight and Footsum and McGordy, all these all these good guys that are in the NCAA, they're all part of good teams. And I guarantee you, all of those athletes would trade that individual title for a team title. And that's that's just the way these athletes are. That's the way I think Ed is. So, um, you know, I think his strategy will always be based on how he can help the team the best. Um, just like two years ago, it was him and Eric they always found a way to, especially in cross country, way to ideally go one, two, or, or as high up as possible in these races. And they were fortunate to go one, two, I guess, uh, at conference and, and nationals there, um, Eric's senior year. So yeah, just trying to figure out how he can help benefit the team. And um, 
you know, I think we're still we're still working on on what that race strategy will be for each meet. But um, but right now everyone's everyone's doing doing pretty good and excited excited for the conference meet. What are your thoughts on on Katie and what she's been able to do this year? Yeah, well, I mean, Marisa, she should be the one probably talking more more about her. But um, but she, Marisa's done a really good job with Katie. I think I think they've just they bonded and really got to know each other well in the recruiting process and and. Um, I think Marisa had a, spent a lot of time with her before she she got here. Just um, I guess in that recruiting process, so they they've known each other well, and um, I think Katie just has this this maturity where she just kind of knows that it's a process, and she needs to just kind of get better each week and get better, you know, throughout her time here at Oregon. And she's she's okay, kind of sitting back in the pack with her teammates, and then and then finishing finishing strong. And um, a lot of freshmen that that have come in and, and maybe won a lot of different NXN titles and stuff like that it's hard for them to understand that you know um, like they want to be up in the front they want to they want to always try to feel the race like like try to be able to win the race or be able to feel it you know so it's hard to sit sit back like that but for whatever reason um, Maurice has been able to help her understand that hey you know if you can finish X amount of place and not necessarily win it's, it's a big deal and I think she understands that so Katie's Katie's done you know she's done a really good job um, I think the older girls on the team have helped have helped a lot um, I mean Allie Cash and, and Maggie and Ashley Maytown I think I think it's nice having some of those older girls that, that can that can help um, help the younger ones I think that's that's just part of, I guess having a good team kind of year in and year out you get, you get those older um, Older girls, older guys on the team that help that help the younger ones out. But yeah, really, really impressed with Katie so far. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thanks, Sam.